I know. <laughs> awesome. Well, um, dude, well, thank you for having us. I love your hat. Uh, the same. Um, well, how does it feel? Um, Damien has become a very popular character in the comics, and even though he's dead right now, um, how do you feel um, portraying him uh, compared to all the other Robins like Dick Grayson, Tim Drake, and uh, Jason Todd, and all of them? Um, it, it is a very interesting role. Um, it's actually um, sometimes you know when you first try it out, it's very, it's a very, he's a very hard character to hit, you know, on the exact mark, you know, because. Um, Many people, you know, at the start, you know, sometimes you would um, actually portray him as a brat when I first <laughs> yeah. started out. Yeah, but um, as I started uh, researching it more, like I looked him up on the internet. I uh, I did some. I actually read some of the comics of Batman and Son, oh, nice. and this may seem a little weird, but I actually went over to um, the GameStop guys because they know a lot about you know, <laughs> about, you know the DC and so forth. Yeah, but um, yes, I, I went on over there and, um, and they told me a lot of things that I never really knew about him before. It was very, it was a very interesting character. Later on, I realized that you know he's, he's you know he's not a brat. You know he's, a, he's just basically a lone wolf. You know he's very he likes to do things on his own. He's very smart, very sophisticated. He's very very strong. You know he, he knows how to get things on his own. You know uh, very persuasive, and he's also you know smart alecky and uh, has to work on his manners. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. I love your energy, by the way. <laughs> I wish I had your energy. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get about getting this role? And were you excited that you have this role, or were you kind of like, oh no, he's such an important character. What if I mess up? Um, it was a little, uh, it was a little nerve wracking, you know, because after all, this is the first time David's uh, coming to the big screen. Uh, so you know, you got to make sure you do it right, because you know. But you know, I'm also you know the more the flow guy because you have to learn that you know, in order to to get it right, you know, you can't you know put a lot of pressure on it. Otherwise, you're gonna screw up. <laughs> so. Yeah, so I mean, like he was—he was very, uh, very interesting. I was very excited. He was a little—I uh, was a little nervous with it, but as I started uh, doing it more and more, it was—it was like as if you're putting butter on toast. It was, so, yeah, <laughs> I like that. it was so fun. Yeah. Are you the envy of all your friends? Oh, um, <laughs> uh, my, my friends are very excited about it. In fact, all my teachers uh, want to sign CDs. So, yeah, I showed them. I showed them the trailer. They're very psyched. Everyone's everyone's psyched. I mean, I was trying to like uh, get a couple signed CDs and pass them out to my friends and t-shirt uh, teachers. Not, not t-shirts, teachers. <laughs> wow. Work on that pronunciation, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> You're awesome, dude. <laughs> In the comics, you, and you kind of research the character's background a little bit. In the comics, there's that initial, the initial tension between Damien and uh, Dick Grayson, and it's that kind of all like a sibling, sibling rivalry. But over time, Damien comes to look up to Dick Grayson as like his big brother, and in, in the end, that was his hero more than Batman. It was Dick Grayson. That's kind of like, so did you have that in mind when you approach the, the way you were going to do it? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I, I have that in mind, but you know, uh, at this point, you know, it's it's very, it's a very, you know, start off the relationship. You know, he's very, he's very rough with them because they're obviously from two different uh, raising, uh, raisings. Because you know, like what Nightwing, you know, he was by, with Batman, who was uh, taught, you know, justice and you know, do what's right. You know, don't don't kill people for no reason. <laughs> Whereas uh, Damien, you know, he was uh, he was taught by mentors, you know, uh, you know, to do what you do what you want, and if killing was necessary, you can do that. He's basically like, you know, there are no rules to the game. Yeah, it's, it, you know, uh, being with the poor and being in a uh, new surrounding really, uh, you know, it had an influence on Damien and obviously, you know, he looked up to Dick like an older brother. Yeah. You had a background with, uh, you were in Always Sunny in Philadelphia as a bad yeah. teacher and those being kind of a, a having a, a little bit of a, some more edge to it. So was that helpful approaching a story like this with a character had that kind of edge? Um, it was uh, it was helpful, but um, actually um, I did those after uh, I did uh, Son of Batman. I did this actually when I was um, it was two years ago um, when I first started this. But um, you know I still had you know uh, I still had you know the experience under my belt. I, you know, I still got a feel for the character, and uh, this actually uh, helped me out even more. You know, like uh, when I had to go back for ADR. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And listen to the outro. You know, uh, actually, I never really got to uh, uh, to do things with Sean in the booth. I, I never really uh, truly got to meet him until uh, until today. Uh, it was really uh, he's a really nice guy. You know, I really like hanging out with him. Um, in the booth, actually, I got to work with uh, Jason O'Mara and uh, Marina Uh They were they were really they were really great. I I think they portrayed the characters very well. Um, you know, I saw them. They were they were very they were very well. They were really really good. It was really good. Uh, hanging out with them and uh, hanging out with uh, 
Because in the comics, uh, Dick Grayson takes over for uh, Batman, and of course, name is Robin. Uh, do you think, uh, knowing your relationship with Dick Grayson in the movie, would you rather have Dick Grayson as Batman, or would you rather have Bruce Wayne as Batman? What that person? In my personal opinion, you know, um, uh, but here I'll go for you know, Dick Grayson uh, and my perspective. Yeah. From my perspective, you know, it's good to have your father, yeah. uh, and it's good to have your uh, your your, um, your, you know, your brother too. Your, your yeah. So you know, it would be good. Uh, either be good either way. In my opinion. But uh, in David's opinion, you know, seeing how he looks up, to, you know, to Dick, uh, Dick Grayson, uh, you know, more than Bruce Wayne, actually. Um, I think that he would uh, prefer um, you know, uh, Dick Grayson as his uh, as his Batman. Because I love that comics too. They were so great together. It was like role reversal. Like Dick was more like uh, the Robin, which he was Robin, and uh, Dana was more like Al. His father is like very stern. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah it's like basically, um, you know. Uh, David brings his own uh, self into the Bruce Wayne. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, so Bruce Wayne into, uh, into the Robin while uh, Dick Grayson is uh, as Batman. So that's why, you know, they, they, they you know they kind of connect because, you know, even though Bruce Wayne isn't fully there, you know, there's that connection, like, you know, he's there, like, you know, uh, in, you know, in their minds. Yeah. Awesome. I see bright things in your future, man. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you channel any personal experience <laughs> you know, doing the, the father-son kind of stuff? Uh, personal experience with the father son standards. Um, uh, well, I actually, um, one of my first uh, live action roles was a, in a kind of film, uh, a very Jewish Christmas. Um, and uh, there was this, like, this tension between me and my father, and that's where I kind of got you know, uh, the uh, experience uh, you know, for how David feels, you know, he's right versus, you know, versus Batman's, uh, you know, his ideas. So um, that's where I got, you know, um, the. Uh, like, um, let me see, how do I put it? Uh, like, you know, the uh, the conflict. Uh, but as far as, you know, the compassion, uh, you know, for his father, you know, hanging out with him, I, I actually got that from my own dad. Uh, we, love, we love hanging out together. We do practically everything together. Uh, it, it's it's really fun, you know, we go to, you know, we go to the park a lot, we go to movies, uh, we do lots of, you know, lots of adventures in the backyard. It's, yeah, it's really fun, it's really fun. Damien's a great character. Is there anyone in the DC universe or even the Marvel universe you'd like to play? Um, if there's anyone uh, I could play, um, in, well, I mean, for the DC universe, uh, one of my favorite guys, uh, other than Batman, is uh, Green Lantern. Yeah. yeah I, I really like, you know, uh, how, I really like creativity. I'm a creative guy. Yeah. So, you know, seeing how he can be so you know, creative, you know, using the ring, creating all these different things out of nothing is just very, very inspiring to me. And also, um, for, uh, for Marvel, uh, my favorites are Iron Man and, yeah. uh, and Captain America. <laughs> yeah. because, uh, even though, uh, even though they're not exactly Damien, I mean, they relate to Damien because yeah. uh, they're, very, they're freaky smart, for yes. one, and two, they kick butt. <laughs> yes, of course. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, any other questions? Yeah, we didn't know how long we have with you, so we're, like, we're always like, we're lucky if we get one question. Like, so, oh. how about the Dodgers? <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome, dude. <laughs> Is this your first convention, or have you been to... Uh... Um... Uh, I, I've been to uh, BotCon before, like the one just before, like just for the fun of it. Yeah, BotCon's also yeah. like, it'll be, yeah, yeah. I'll see you at <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, went, I went there um, before, but um, just like to get the feel of a convention, but uh, going here, this is like, it's completely huge, you know, like not like saying I'm nervous, but yeah. it's incredible, it's so, it's huge, there's people from like everywhere here, in fact, uh, I saw someone like, um, I saw all these people, you know, dressed up, you know, these costumes, like, um, like you know, some from Marvel, some yes. from DC, in fact, I actually saw Someone like expresses a uh, favorite character from a video game, Uncharted. Yeah, it was, it, was, it, was just, it was just it was it was so it was so weird yet it's so exciting. It was so exciting, yeah, to, uh, to see that. Have you worked with Nolan, who voices uh, Nathan Drake on Uncharted before? Uh, actually, no. Uh, I really would like to meet him, though. You know, yeah, he's he, such a funny guy. Yeah, he plays uh, he plays the role really well. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. But they should put you in the next Uncharted for him, so, like some kid <laughs> character or young Nathan Drake. They had a young Nathan Drake. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. That'd be awesome, dude. I, I, like I said, I love your energy. Like it's it's really inspiring. And so I love seeing like whether it's young or older actors. They just like, love your job. <laughs> it's awesome. Is it difficult when you want to come into something like this where, uh, compared to your work in film, where you're, you're a lot of times just talking to the air, so to speak, uh, 
Um, it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. I mean, you know, with the fact that, you know, I, I, you know, live action, you have to, you know, you have to worry about your whole body, you know, your whole body has to come into it, but, you know, voiceover, that happens uh, too, but, um, it was very interesting because before I did, actually did Damien, I did lots of, uh, lots of comedies. Um, and uh, you know, uh, as you know, as I said before, you know, I thought you know, Damien was a brat when I first started out. <laughs> but you know, uh, as I started you know, looking into him, you know, I got to you know, I got to know him, and um, it was very different for uh, voiceover, especially for uh, uh, like a feature like this. You know, um, you know, putting all, all your energy, like not into your body, but into your voice. Your voice is the key into voiceover because your voice says everything. Without the voice, there's no, there's not really any dimensions to the character. Um, you know, giving the uh, giving the voice to the character. You can do almost whatever you want with it. You know, you can make it, you can scruffy and make him some, you know, very tough. You can make him, you can make him uh, innocent. You can make him, you know, very, very smart, very sophisticated. It can go many ways in voiceover. You know, it doesn't really have to matter by your look. Yeah. Is there a dream character that you hope to portray when you're 25 <laughs> years into the future? Uh, a dream character. Um, I really like. Um, I really like action type characters. I mean, like it would be cool uh, to do maybe like a detective style character. That's what I think would be uh, very interesting, or or maybe even a superhero like this. You know, just uh, continue on with you know, doing stuff like you know what da um, what I'm doing with Damien. That'd be very interesting. Although uh, to go from a comedy perspective, that'd be uh, that'd be pretty cool too. Yeah. If they if they called you and uh, told you that uh, the next Batman movie has Damien in it, they wanted you to audition. Would you want to audition? Absolutely, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do all the crazy stuff. Yes, do all the cra do all the crazy stuff. It would be so it would be so it would be so cool to be to get to do Damien again. I mean, I, I am if they do do a second movie, uh, I really hope that they bring me back. Yeah, definitely. Ready to direct? Um, not exactly sure about that. I mean, I love films. Uh, I just recently got a camcorder for my birthday uh, a couple months back. Um, so, you know, I like, uh, I'm actually writing a, a little thing now, like, uh, the mystery duo, because, you know, detective, and like, um, yeah, and like, uh, this little, uh, this little comedy, uh, it'll be, it'll be, it's, you know, it's really fun, you know, being on the other side. In fact, um, next year, um, at my school, uh, they have these, like, um, this video production class, and I want to uh, try to take that, you know, see, like, uh, if it can help me out with my skills. Is everybody at school want you to be at, like work with them on their films? Because yes, you, yes. Since I'm an actor, I go around the campus um, like um, a couple times. Um, I get asked, you know, to do something like for one of their finals or something. It's it's so it's so funny. Like uh, I I need you to play uh, my younger self for uh, for this final. Uh, <laughs> and, um, it, it'll be it'll be great to have you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so it's so funny. Yeah, it's so it's so awesome too. I love doing that. Yeah. You guys get like a minute no more. Or that. You guys good? Oh yeah. yeah. Thank right. you. Cool. No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem, man. Check out Sean Long, Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs>